Hello everyone, Dragon Game Master Dragon Gaming here. Today, uh, yes, I know I went to the party. I need like 20 plus comments saying I'm late to the party covering this news. Okay, I already know. Hold your horses. <laughs> but Scott Coffin will release on the 12th of November. Right now, it is currently the 26th. I'm, yes, I'm joking. Wait, today is late to the party. But as I said earlier, no, 14 days, sorry. Uh, 14 days late right to the party. So let's just get into this. He made a post on Steam about uncovering projects in Mega Thread, which is basically something that's a very simple thing that he's got planned. So, let's get started. This video is mainly for anyone who is a FNAF fan or wants to know anything updated about Five Nights at Freddy's Um, I did, in fact, hand a little bit of this information off to the channel of Kit Kat, who was formerly Starfuzz, who was formerly Kitty Gang Gamer 3.0, and as far as I know, she's probably changed her name right now, as far as I know. Please don't do that. Please. But, yeah. Anyway. Hey everyone, I've been promising an update, so here it is. There have been a lot of great things being worked on, so most of them will arrive in 2019, including new ports, new games, and new books. Maybe progress is still slow, but that's okay, because I want to get it right. Everything else, however, is full, moving full speed ahead. Movie news. Five Nights at Freddy's. First movie. New scripts being worked on. Okay, guys, I had a script written, Jason liked it, and Chris, well, just liked it too, but I tossed it. I had a different idea for it, one that I liked better. That's understandable. If you have a good idea for something, just toss it in one. I mean, you can just combine both ideas. Don't think someone. I take responsibility for this delay. It's my fault. Well, that's well. There's an idea for a script you like better than the other one you think it will fit better. As long as it doesn't take 25 years to make this movie, we, as long as, and as long as you update us on these changes, we'd be fine. So, let's just, let's just do it. I'm excited to figure it out. He takes the responsibility for this delay. It's his fault. Yeah, yeah. I think I've already said that. It's been a real challenge for everyone, including myself, to come up with a good screenplay for this, but I'm determined to find, find the right story. I'm sticking to what I've always said, is the right movie gets made, or no movie gets made. Good point. I hate doing a project that's already seen so many delays, but I have to go with my instincts on what I think will be exciting and interesting, and what I think the fan base will really want to see. As long as a lot of us can see it, and it's gives us a little bit of answers, I think that's what we want. And pretty good stuff for that. So yeah. If that means I have to start it off ten start over ten more times, then that's what I'm gonna do. The good thing is that each attempt gets better and better, in my opinion. So despite the delay, it's going in the right direction. One thing that most of you might want to know is that the movie, the sequels I hope, will take Plays in the universe of FNAF 1 3 only. Games after the Prime Minister Freddy's 3 will not exist in the movie universe. Like it or hate it, I felt that this was the best portion of the storyline to really focus in on. Good point, because there's a lot of questions about the best parts of the game. And you might as well start just after the screenplay is completely written for your first movie. Like, as soon as the first movie is on set, you might as well start writing the second one. Because the biggest thing FNAF fan base is, and as I said, as long as a lot of people can watch it, then it's going to do well, and everybody's going to love it. Game project. FNAF Virtual Reality. 40% complete. This game is looking terrific. I'm working with a company called Steel Wolf, Bring the VR games to life. These guys are making some really crazy stuff. 
So if you like to repair your Funtime Freddy app cause from the Switch location, just wait till you try to do something like that with virtual reality. Up close, personal, and it will be huge animatronics that are just one mistake away from jumping at you. I refused to test the first time I had my son bring in the test them instead. The repair section is just one, sm one small part of the game. And for the first time, you're going to all see an actual stage performance from the classic band. Sorry, I like that. FNAF AR. Time to check, please. The AR game is well underway. While I'm not going to reveal any gameplay details yet, I will say that the impending doom of something changing you will keep you up at night. FNAF into madness. This is what I was. I said I will be filming this information to the channel Kit Kat. Oh, I don't know what screen. You may have heard her talk about this place before. I was. I. I. I wonder if I comment on uh, it and say, hey, uh, did you know if Nash Inter Madness is coming out? She's like, no! Thanks for telling me! I think that voice right there is actually better than what I did for Star Squad. One way to keep thinking for that. This is the next game that I want to work on myself someday. A compilation of several previous gameplay ideas in the same vein as Update 2. Just a free game for the fan base. There isn't a guarantee that it will happen, though. I'm still recovering from the first four years. <laughs> Alright. At least get the idea in your head and work out like, a game plan of it. And honestly, I paying money for a game of yours so you can make it into me. I think a lot of fans will say that about fan base. Yeah, it's, it's good that. It's free, so a lot of people can, a lot of people can go ahead and access it. Bendy Nightmare Run, for example, that thing was on mobile, and that was free. Pretty much anybody who had a mobile device could get it and play it if they got bored. See, like that's that sort of stuff there. But paying for Bendy, basically, Mike Mood and everybody there at the Meet Games kind of based in. Jojo Studios and from over there, they make their living off of this. So, basically, they don't have a Patreon or something set up, which. Thank you, Lord Bendy does. Then. They kind of rely on that for money. I don't know what Scott's situation is, but. Truthfully, I wouldn't mind paying for FNAF games that help you out. Shoot a real simulator one was a good idea though. Besides. So. Let's finish the rest of these. Console ports. 20% complete. I'm working closely with the people at Click Team to create new and, imp new and improved HD ports for all the original games. They will be released on Android, iOS, Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. Yay! Another win for me! Because this is an Android device that I'm recording on right now. So anything that's released on Android is a big win for me. Except for how long Ava on mobile. That was a big loss. And basically what it was, it was just like, yeah, uh, you keep, your device isn't able to play this game. And everybody's like, the computer's like, yeah, thank you, thank you for playing this game. Dude, like half of us. The mobile devices can't play it. You know, you fix it. <laughs> uh, I don't have any of the other uh, consoles. When he refers to Xbox, he's referring to the Xbox One or the newest Xbox console. I have a, currently have an Xbox 360, and I also have a old Wii, which I should put to this. So, kind of did both places there, but Android is where I'm really looking forward to. I'm not sure we'll want to switch for the first time, so we may do it. Who knows? But, yeah. <coughs> Triple A game. Zero percent. Wow. There was a big deal in the works. Create an incredible, hot, big budget game. I can't reveal any details yet as this project is still in its planning stages, but I'm working closely with the studio involved 
I'm sure that delivers what I think FNAF fans will want to see. If it, like, if it's something that you're a big part in, and you're just creating, like, a new title in the FNAF series, that does answer some of the questions we've been having about the FNAF series, and I think we'll be fine. Okay. So, yeah. New book series. 20% complete and is actually lasting around with me. <laughs> There's a new line of books on the way from Scholastic. This will be very different from the original book series, as it will be a collection of short horror stories that take place in the FNAF universe. The series will launch with five books, each containing three different short stories with unique characters and plot lines, some connected directly to the games and some not. That's everything for now. Time for more coffee! Uh... Everybody's like, yeah, cool. This one dude's like, this all sounds cool, but where's the animal tycoon mode, Scott? I'm just kidding about the tycoon thing. I'm really, really... <sighs> I really like it. Uh, the only problem I ha really have is, like, with the console ports. Uh, Which has basically been last to get anything. But Bendy was an exception. So, I mean, Bendy was, was first in Switch history to make sure Switch was the last thing get the game last. Like, Minecraft better together. Well, everybody else got better together. <laughs> Xbox One, you know, the Android devices and stuff, and then Switch just kept halting on it. I don't know why. I can't remember why, actually. But, yeah. I'm, I'm probably really excited for the uh, Intro Madness thing. Because Scott will be Intro Madness. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of memes made out of it as soon as it comes. Like, this is madness. No. This is cooking. Uh. First off, that's the uh, quote there from the film 300. It's, a, it's kind of like a Spartan movie. Go Sparta! But it's basically a game where... Oh God. It's basically... The, um... The movie is basically, like... The most iconic scene from it is where the dude's like... Like... This is madness! No! I mean, half this video was about the 300, maybe 300. Hope you did enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!